2007 is going green as James Bond 25 will reportedly feature the iconic MI6 spy driving an electric car. This long-running franchise has always been heavily associated with the cars that Bond drives in them. This dates back to the iconic Aston Martin DB5, which was first featured in the Sean Connery classic Goldfinger. But the Daniel Craig era will end with a slightly more progressive choice, while keeping with the usual amount of high-end status at the same time, according to a new report. James Bond 25 will see 007 driving an Aston Martin Rapide, one of just 155 cars of that particular model that the company is making. The electric car, though perhaps a bit more eco-friendly in some ways, will come with a very steep price tag of around $283,000 American. So, not exactly the green way to go for the average consumer. Per an unnamed source who is said to be close to the situation, this is how things came together behind the scenes. The decision was spearheaded by the film's new director, Kerry Fukunaga, who's a total tree hugger. He is working directly with Aston Martin to get one of their electric cars ready for its big close up. It's going to be the center of an incredible action sequence in the movie. James Bond is known for driving amazing cars and this one won't disappoint either. It's going to have all the high-tech gadgets. To be clear, this is something Kerry pushed for and Daniel and the producers are going along with. Everybody is afraid of Bond getting labeled too PC but they all felt the time was right to put him in a zero-emission vehicle. To date. James Bond hasn't driven an electric car in one of the movies so this would be a relatively big step. Whether or not the world at large would actually have any sort of negative reaction to this remains to be seen, but it's doubtful. Though, it is easy to see how a small crop of very loud voices could become vocal about the studio pushing a PC Bond. Still. It's all about execution. If it's a great movie and the action sequence in question is cool, who cares if it's an electric car? For the time being, until someone related to the production confirms this possible detail, it's best to take this with a healthy grain of salt. That said, it's not the most outlandish rumor we've heard. Related James Bond is a severe alcoholic according to new study what we know is that, after many delays, the movie is finally expected to begin production next month. This will be Daniel Craig's final outing as 007 and the majority of the principal cast from the previous movies during his tenure are expected to return. Rami Malek, Bohemian Rhapsody, is set to play the main villain. James Bond 25 is currently set to hit theaters on April 8, 2020. This news was first reported by The Sun. Topics, James Bond 25, James Bond.